Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at something a little bit different. We're taking a look at the Paul's Model Art or Mini Champs Jordan 195. One of my favorite Formula One cars of all time. One of the best looking Formula One cars of all time. And I know that that's a big call. A really nice die cast model, a very rare model. Um, and I thought I'd show you guys today on YouTube. Taking a look at the car from the front, we can see number 15, meaning that uh, this was, of course, driven by Eddie Irvine, one of the most underrated drivers, I think, of the Formula One era in the 90s. Uh, of course, more famous for uh, his performance behind a Ferrari, coming second in the, 1990, in the 1999 championship uh, after Shuey broke his leg. Uh, this was, I think, his last season at Jordan. In 96, of course, Ferrari signed uh, Shuey and uh, Eddie Irvine. So really, really nice detail on this. You can see one of the disadvantages with getting the uh, early Mini Champs or Paul's Model Art cars is that uh, over time they do fade. I'm not sure how well that will come across on camera, but you can see some of the uh, the stickers starting to yellow, which is a little bit of a disappointment. Of course, uh, Jordan with the, Peugeot, uh, with the Peugeot engine, which uh, they also provided with McLaren, I'm fairly sure, in 1995 as well. Uh, hot off their success at Le Mans. Really great looking car. I love the profile of uh, of, of this from, from the front and the side for that matter. No winglets, no uh, you know crummy aerodynamic stuff that we got uh, in the mid-2000s. Just a really sleek, crisp design. And just a shot of a car from a different perspective. Really nice lines. Obviously... Uh, at this stage, Jordan was struggling for some big-name sponsorship, uh, but still a really, really cool car, great design, and uh, a really rare and nice model. So those who know me uh, know that I'm a huge Formula One fan. The 90s is my favorite era in Formula One. I love the way the cars look. Uh, I love the drivers of that era. If you see the Jordan compared to some of the other cars, here we've got uh, Larini's Ferrari. That's an extremely rare model uh, that I was lucky enough to, to pick up. But uh, similar to the Ferrari design, really crisp, no um, bodywork on it or anything like that. And then you compare the Jordan to the championship winning Benetton driven by Shuey. You can see, obviously, the raised nose, which was brought in uh, as a response to what happened to Senna. Um, uh, which was a, a really big shame. So you can see really the differences between a uh, midfield car and uh, a top team. Obviously the raised nose, the uh, start of the aerodynamics on the back here, just looking at the rear wing as well, some of the differences there. And then uh, on the far left, you can see the Williams, similar design to the uh, Benetton. French engines for these three, of course. Uh, Ferrari notorious with their reliability issues. Um, obviously, the Renault motor at the time was the uh, the gun engine. Sadly, that's not the case now. Uh, you need to really have a Mercedes to, to be quite competitive. Similar design, you can see, obviously, the uh, aero starting to come through on the Williams as well. Um, Damon Hill, of course, very competitive, but uh, in 95, nothing could touch uh, nothing could touch Shuey. Um, and actually, I believe that's Coulthard driving the Williams. So really cool. Uh, if I had to pick one in terms of looks, I'm going to go with the Jordan just because I love that sleek design, a little bit like an arrow. It's really crisp, smooth. I love that uh, it's really one of the last Formula One cars uh, before technology really started kicking in and we started getting all sorts of crazy aero and um, really the mess that we've got today. I love too, just looking at it, the skinnier rear tires and then the fat rear tires at the back really add to the profile of the car. If you get a chance and you can pick up a uh, Formula One model from the 90s, definitely any one of these uh, is well worth doing. 